Hi, Carla. Hi, Terence. Hello. Hello. Carla, I seem to have discovered that Jose was arrested last year on April 23rd to make sure that you'll be on your own in your home with your children. Am I right? Can you remember yes. when it happened what on April 23rd? It's coming um, about near 5 o'clock. Yes. Uh, is Mario open the door? Because I asked Mary if I opened the door. Two social workers and two police uh -huh. officers, is women. Uh, they see Paris and they see. I don't remember the name properly, the other now. And there, Josie tell for her to go out because I asked for the papers. And I asked as well if he has got the papers of court or something. And the DC Paris said, I don't need that. I got power. Oh, really? And just say, sorry, it's my home, I pay for my bills. You get out of my property now. And he say, she said, no, I have powers. I'm a police officer. I don't need uh, any uh, warrant. I don't need uh, any paper of court, any order. I can come your home. And uh, I just want to speak with you. And I ask, about what? I uh, tell uh, after it to you. No, sorry, you go tell me. About what? Don't tell. Jose go arrest. Jose give his hands for him to handcuff me. Handcuff him, sorry. Uh, but he never tell the reason. Wait a minute, when got did Jose get handcuffed? Uh, in the kitchen. On 23, him get handcuffed on the kitchen. So in front, was... in front of the kids. So the two social services, social self workers, and the two police. Yeah. They arrested Jose. Without tell invitation. nothing. Without invitation. Without tell nothing. What do you think about that, Terence? Well, normally when a police enters your home, they have must have valid, valid reasons for entry. Uh -huh. In my opinion, this is trespassing without any reason at all. Uh -huh. Um. The suspect must also be, to be told on what grounds they have been arrested on, on what allegations. It's the discretion of the police to arrest, but they must have a valid reason why they have to arrest the suspect. And it seems like they have, this is not the case. So in my opinion, this is an unlawful arrest that has taken place. An unlawful arrest, first of all. And so, so Jose was taken away then, was he? Yeah, uh, yes, him taken away, no read his rights, the police, no read the rights of Jose. Uh, take him. <coughs> After take Jose, the Tamara Palen Carter, the social worker, she told me, ah, as uh, arrest Jose, the police arrest Jose, because your son doing a false allegation, do, uh, sorry, no false allegation, doing allegation in school, I uh, guess and Jose said, uh, Jose smack him. I said, sorry, but this morning, Emmanuel don't have nothing. I go with him in the bus, Emmanuel don't have nothing. Uh, and Emmanuel doing that allegation, and uh, she said, but uh, you as go take him for 72 hours, you go speak with your children. But I ask her, you sure it's for 72 hours? Yes, it's sure it's only 72 hours. But you make sure that, because I know I lie to my kids. And she said, don't worry, he's back in 72 hours. I tell that to my kids, with a lie. I don't know, my kids crying. My kids tell back to him, don't want to go. My kids will ask of friends for go sleep in his homes. I ring for a friend for take my kids. And him don't accept nothing. Him take my kids away. So the police told you that they were going to arrest Jose and keep him for 72 hours? No, no. Him is only... Who tell me who inform me, no the police. Is the Tamara Palen Carta, the yeah. social worker, tell the go take the kids only for 72 hours and Jose is arrested because uh, Manuel doing allegation against Jose. 
Well, that's what the professional mediator found a bit strange, that uh, one child makes an allegation and all five children are being taken. So as a private investigator and Mackenzie friend, what do you yeah. think uh, can be said about this? And the fact that well, he wasn't, and then they handcuffed her down in the kitchen. Yes. And the police did not caution her. Not. Then they let them be an arrest. A police must follow the codes of the pace, which is the uh, Police and C Criminal Evidence Act. They must caution every suspect when they take out an arrest and when the, the, the suspect is handcuffed. It's like me, I have a, a seizure you know, on 23 because I become too nervous and I have a epileptic seizure and he doesn't cuff me straight away. This was 23rd of March yes. this year? No, no. Uh, April. Oh, April, also last yes. year. You had a seizure when you... Yims handcuffed me. They handcuffed you as well? Yes. Only Maria asked for uh, help. Is Maria asked for help for him to call the ambulance. If Maria no asked for help, Yims no help. Uh, if Jose don't give the my medication, Yims no give. No nothing. And him said, if Jose will give me medication to me, the tablets, him uh, um, the taser, you see the taser, him say the, I put the taser if you move to Jose. For the for give to my medication to me. I think that's yes. a I, I well, pity that you didn't have a CCTV camera in your place, huh? Oh, really? the, pardon? That's just the fact that she's been handcuffed. And if Jose moved, they would taser him. Yes. But she was having a seizure. Yes. So, so uh, uh, did any of the police officers come up to and say that they were uh, a qualified first aider and they would assist you? Uh, nobody of him assist to me. Only handcuff me. Is Maria asked for him to call to an ambulance and explain I'm epileptic, Jose explain I'm epileptic. If not, him don't give help. But did I call the ambulance in the end? Did the police call because Maria asked only? They called because Maria asked. So Maria hadn't asked, they wouldn't have called an ambulance. Uh, and it, uh, it could have been serious for you. I'm just. And after that, he doesn't cuff me. I still with pains for three, week, three weeks because the, the seizure of movements and cuff my very painful, my arms. And did you manage to get a, ho a hospital report of this? Uh, never, I, I never ask. Okay, well, well, because I do? don't go to the hospital. I just ambulance coming, but uh, when ambulance coming, I'm all right already because the tablets straight away yeah. just they well, give what me. What we need to do, we need to write to the ambulance force and request those records. Oh. They do hold them. Uh -huh. well, uh, I've, uh, it's a uh, PALS, patients and uh, a liaison. Um, service. Uh -huh. If you write to the hospital, they will catch the records of the ambulance on that date. So all this happened before they <coughs> took the children and went away with them. Yes, is when him handcuffed Jose. I I have the feet, the seizure. And did did they take Jose first then? No, the no, children? because Jose go straight away give him the tablets. Yes. He, only after I don't see more Jose, you know. When I come up, I don't see more Jose. Right, so they gave me, when Jose gave me the tablets. Uh, after that, they, they arrested him. Jose is already handcuffed when he gives the tablets. It's because the the officer tell go to him. Yes. So you actually passed out and you don't yeah. know for how long? I don't know. Obviously you wouldn't. And, uh, the only thing is that the police will use a taser is if, if they become threatened. And it seems to me in this case that Jose was not threatening them at all. They were threatening instead. So yes. threatening that yeah. uh, Carla passed out. And fortunately Jose was still there then and could give you the medication. But 
uh, when you came back, he was gone. And so how long did it then take for them to take the children? Uh, after pa Tamara Palencarta speak with me, 